Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your 2017 yearly overview. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. Thank you very much for joining me. Happy New Year. And I hope you have a fantastic year ahead. Um, and as always, please remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. Make sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages. And of course, if you're interested, you can get your own reading specific to just you. The link to my website is in the description box below. And I'm actually running a special on yearly forecast and six month forecast. So if you're interested in that, uh, the link to the specials page is in the description box below as well. Um, so let's have a look, Leos, at what the year is about for you. I feel like this is going to be a really strong year for you. Lots of major arcana cards in here uh, talking about lots of positive changes happening for you this year. And for some of you, I hear that you're going to get back on your feet. I don't know what that means. Um, but you're going to get back on your feet. You're going back to feeling like yourself again. Or you're, you're, you're going to be redefining who you are or doing things in a way that you are happy with. Um, so let's jump in. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles is your overall energy for the year. The Queen of Pentacles is awesome energy. It talks about um, a good year for your finances. This is financial security and stability with your finances. This is um, working on the home, maybe moving, buying new, a new home, working on the home in terms of redecorating, uh, making it more like your own. Um, this could also be pregnancy if you're, if you're interested in that, if you're working towards that. It could be a year when you um, get pregnant or even give birth. It depends on when you get pregnant. Um, and the Queen of Pentacles is an energy that talks about thinking ahead. So whatever you do this year, you're thinking about the future. Uh, so you're not looking to waste your time. You're looking to make solid decisions, solid choices that are going to positively impact uh, the long term. And with the Queen of Pentacles, of course, it can be an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. That is your main focus this year. And it's going to be your major influence this year. Um, let's have a look at the month by month. In January... You start the year with the world card. So the world card is awesome. It's a major arcana card. So you start the year off strong. And it is a card that talks about um, happy completions. Things coming full circle for you in a very happy way, in a very successful way. Uh, enabling you to move forward to bigger and better things. The world card for some of you, it can talk about moving. Talk about uh, talking about relocation. Maybe moving across the world. It's a major arcana card so it doesn't happen on its own. So it could be... A new job that um, requires you to move and so you have multiple new beginnings with that. Um, it can be changing status. Maybe you are coming out of a difficult relationship and now you're free and you're enjoying yourself, uh, you know, your freedom and your independence. Uh, defining who you are or redefining who you are. This could also be working on yourself, on um, your physical body, so working out maybe. Uh, looking at your diet, nutrition, that sort of thing, changing your look, wardrobe, that sort of thing. This could also be traveling, lots of traveling or traveling the world um, for you in January. It is a card of success and being in the spotlight, being charismatic, people wanting to be around you, wanting to be with you, wanting to work with you. Um, and it's really Whatever you want to make it, that's what it can be. Whatever you're focused on, whether it's your work, your relationships, your health, your spirituality, whatever the case may be, the world card says you're at this point of happy completion, of things coming full circle, and you have new doors opening up for you as early as January. For February, we have the Hierophant. With the Hierophant, it is again a card that talks about new doors opening up for you. Um... And for those, this talks about education, a focus on education, a focus on furthering your education, developing your skills, any sort of course or training program uh, is what comes up for some of you in February with the Hierophant. For those of you, this is getting a new job, maybe with the government or with um, a family business that's a really large business or a corporation even. Um, for um, others of you, this is a Taurus person that is coming in. 
I feel like this could be a mentor, a guide, a teacher for some of you. Um, and for those of you, this is um, a romantic interest showing up. The Hierophant can also talk about um, marriage intentions. So commitments happening in February or um, meeting someone with marriage on the mind or marriage proposals happening in February. The point is you, you're given um, a key to open new doors for yourself. And it is a major arcana card. So again, it's not going to come on, on its own. It could be, you know, you start a new job and there's a romantic interest there. Uh, this is graduation and already you have a new job. Whatever the case may be, the Hierophant also talks about having a solid support group around you, being part of a group of like-minded people, um, and you teach and learn from each other at the same time. In um, March, you have the Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is karmic blessings, okay? This is the wheel turning, and it's your third major arcana card in a row, so you're starting off the year really, really strong. And the Wheel of Fortune talks about, again, cycles completing and new cycles beginning in your life. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, it can also represent travel. It can also represent relocation. It can represent some big changes in your life. So again, maybe to do with job, maybe to do with your relationships, because now you're getting married, you're changing your status, or you're talking about family, or you're planning your future with this person. The Wheel of Fortune talks about, again, a phase ending very successfully, and then a new door opening up to you, new beginnings happening in March. It's also a very karmic month. You could be meeting soulmates this month. Um, and just be mindful of what you do. Make sure that you do everything um, properly or you're doing the right thing or you're doing things um, the ethical way because you create karma this month as much as you're reaping karma. But ultimately, it's a really um, lucky month for some of you. Um, and pay attention to signs, symbols, synchronicities happening because I feel like you're going to be divinely guided through whatever's going on in your life um, in March, but it's a very blessed month for you. In April, we have the Three of Pentacles. So with the Three of Pentacles in April, for some of you, um, this is uh, marriage, okay? This is being in front of the altar. Um, for others of you, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign again, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For others of you, the Three of Pentacles talks about success with work, new jobs, or uh, if you've recently started a new job, this is impressing the bosses already. For those of you, this is working on your finances. You're building up your finances. It's very successful um, financial month for you in April. This is also working well with other people, um, joining forces with someone to improve your finances, to create new ways of earning, um, or to bring in more um, abundance with your finances. Um, this could also be joining some sort of group, uh, focusing on your health. So a workout program or a workout group, um, some sort of health association um, is coming up for some of you with the Three of Pentacles. In May, we have the Five of Pentacles. So with the Five of Pentacles, this is usually talking about financial worries. Um, however, the good news with the Five of Pentacles is the money is there, so you're secure, you're safe. Even if you don't have the money yourself, there's someone you can talk to for, for you know, getting the money. There's someone you can talk to for help. There's someone you can talk to for support. Or, you know, you can talk to banks or anything like that. So whatever financial concerns you have, this is just saying there's a way around it. You just have to be mindful of your mindset and really getting out of that uh, lack mentality and opening up to seeing the possibilities, the options that you have. Um, for those of you, the Five of Pentacles shows up. If this is, whatever this is in the first part of the year is talking about starting your own business, then the Five of Pentacles in May, it's, you know, a natural card to show up because when you're self-employed, um, you know, you always concern yourself with money or am I going to have enough money or um, it's not a constant or it's not a given. So you can stress over it, you can worry over it. But the Five of Pentacles, once again, is saying 
the money is there you're not alone you have support so reach out and ask for help and it will be granted to you for June we have the two of cups with the five of pentacles if this is in a relationship situation maybe the both of you are experiencing some financial concerns and so you have to stick together through the obstacles or this could be not seeing eye to eye or something changing that kind of destabilizes the relationship and so you have concerns regarding the future of that relationship perhaps but in june with the two of cups you have a reconnection a coming back together reconciliation you're back on the same page back on track happy with your relationship it's balanced it's healthy um for those of you this is a new relationship maybe with the soulmate uh, because you have the wheel of fortune in the cards and um, the two of cups so it could be a new relationship that you're starting maybe with the water sign of cancer scorpio or pisces but whoever this is regardless of their sign this is someone who is genuine uh, this is someone who means what they say this is a sincere offer of love it could even be um, a friendship that turns into something more for some of you um, this could also be you know it's just the early stages it is a number two card so you're just getting started with the partnership or with the getting back on track but it's a beautiful energy it talks about experiencing the love experiencing um, mutual support mutual respect and admiration um, and um, a shared genuine interest towards making it a beautiful relationship if this is not in love then it talks about partnerships with business so going into business with someone or joining a company in other words signing a contract and that kind of puts your financial worries to rest in uh, June in July we have the tower with the tower and I think cancer just had the tower in July so definitely watch your moon and rising sign readings um, with the tower in July um, because we have the two of cups before and the three of cups after it this is really really positive this is a breakthrough this is unexpected blessings I feel like it's it's a sudden event with the tower something you were not planning for you were not expecting that presents you with a blessing so it's either um, a big win um, it's either recognition with work and you're definitely not expecting it because you just started um, or even if you haven't just started this is unexpected rewards so I feel like it's not just hey good job I feel like they're giving you a prize or they're giving you some sort of concrete um, gift or reward even a bonus um, that's substantial or you know winning a trip or something uh, or just a weekend away on the company that sort of thing uh, could be coming up with the tower this is it's definitely a card of surprise it could be that you have to leave the house for a little bit because of this surprise it could be maybe you know um, some problems with the house maybe with electricity or with water um, showing up in July and you kind of have to be out of the house for a little bit and you experience a beautiful surprise that way but it's a beautiful card of surprise um, something happens that makes you have to reconsider and reorganize but it's ultimately for the better in August we have the three of cups and the three of cups is celebration the tower can be a surprise pregnancy because what was two now becomes three so for some of you it's a surprise pregnancy happening in July um, for those of you the three of cups talks about success and abundance recognition and reward once again it's a really beautiful time for work um, it's a beautiful time for your social life as well the three of cups talks about enjoying time with your friends making new friends uh, socializing more going out enjoying yourself kind of just you know laying your hair down and uh, going out for a drink going out to dance to sing it's a really beautiful time for celebration and the three of cups can also represent um, social events that you're attending in August or even a holiday taking time away um, 
with friends in August with the Three of Cups. But it's definitely a card of abundance, of support, friendship, a wonderful social life uh, coming up with the Three of Cups. In September, we have the Emperor. So the Emperor is a major arcana card and it talks about structure and it talks about rules and it talks about stability. Um, for some of you, it could represent an Aries person who's a boss and maybe you're in communication with this person or this is someone of authority. This is someone who can open up doors for you and I feel like they're talking to you in September. You're negotiating with this person for some of you. For those of you, this is a father figure. Maybe you're taking time to spend with the family. Maybe you're traveling to see your father or a father figure. Um, for those of you, the emperor represents your energy, even though you're not an Aries. Maybe you have Aries in your chart. But it talks about taking charge of things. Even promotions happening where you're now in charge. You're a manager. You're a supervisor. You're responsible for other people. Or other people come to you for advice guidance and for you to tell them how to do things or for you to assess their work that sort of thing uh, whatever conversations you have with figures of authority or negotiations you have just stick to the facts stick to the numbers be professional and to the point and you're going to be successful for october we have the ace of wands so this is success this is new jobs this is um contracts offered to you even promotions offered to you. Um, for some of you, they are coming from this Aries person uh, because they are fire energy, so Aries Leo Sagittarius. The Ace of Wands talks about a new job. For others of you, it talks about a new career where you take a passion of yours or a hobby and now you're doing it as a career. It's your profession. Um, you're starting a creative project or a creative endeavor like writing a book or painting or um, even teaching, even kind of writing courses or sharing your experience, journaling, anything like that with the Ace of Wands is going to be successful for you and it's going to open up a new way of doing things or new, um, new opportunities for you in um, October with the Ace of Wands. For others of you, this could be traveling, um, even moving because it's a new beginning that, first of all, you're very uh, excited about. And secondly, it uses your creativity or allows you to use your creativity. And this is not a standalone opportunity. If you take this opportunity, it will bring about more and more possibilities for you. It can be a new relationship as well that's really, really passionate, um, that's very fun, new, different um, with this Ace of Wands as well. Maybe with the boss or with someone in work. Um, or just a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In uh, November, we have the moon. Now with the moon, you know, if you are involved with someone at work, the moon just says, you know, you're keeping it to yourself or you're just letting um, HR know or only the people who need to know um, are going to know about this. The moon represents keeping things to yourself. You have really positive cards around it, so I'm not seeing lies or deception. Um, I'm seeing you keeping things to yourself. I'm seeing you working on your intuition, developing your intuition. With the moon card, this is also dealing with a lot of confidential information. So whether it's to do with your work sector or um, dealing with other people's secrets or anything like that, I feel like you're dealing with a lot of confidential information in November. This is also things coming full circle or full term. So for some of you, you could be giving birth in November is what I'm picking up on with the moon. Um, and it's just, I feel, research. Research, looking deeper into things, working on development, developing yourself, a personal or professional development with the moon. And in December, you have the sun. So this is awesome. This is a major arcana card. So you start and you end with a major arcana card, both wonderful cards. The sun is... Freedom, independence, success, reward, recognition, children, for some of you, uh, taking a trip, going someplace warm for the winter, um, taking a holiday, coming up with the sun card, um, wonderful rewards in terms of recognition and feedback, 
um, especially, not just finances, coming your way with the Sun card. This is also health and healing, uh, having great stamina, a lot of energy. Um, your creative projects are really taking off with the Sun card. And it's also a card of victory. So whatever you're working towards, you're bringing full circle in December. And again, you're doing things your way. And uh, it's really paying off for you. It looks like an amazing year. Do let me know uh, how these cards make sense to you, if they apply to you, and how your year is going. I'm looking forward to it. Um, let's have a look at your Oracle cards. For career and finances, we have Layla. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So for career and finances, your perspective is key. This is saying contemplate what you want to do, come up with a plan, and then go for it. Don't hold yourself back. Don't allow yourself to be negative or doubtful of yourself, of your goals. Negativity will hold you back. Negativity will block your progress. So do whatever you can to stay upbeat, to stay optimistic, and visualize what you want to see happen. Um, and just focus on that, and you will see it happen, okay? Um, and you could be um, dealing with changes, and this is just saying stay calm, contemplate what's going on, take it all in, and then just adapt to it. Be flexible, okay? Turn things around to your advantage. For emotional life and love life, we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this is definitely saying, you know, good social time for you this year. If you want to meet anyone, it's a good year to do so. Um, and you have some really good uh, love cards in here as well. This is saying, you know what, if you want to meet someone, just get yourself out there. And you could even meet someone through your friends or while you're with your friends or while you're um, on some sort of an outing. This is just saying, you know what, be yourself, smile, enjoy yourself, have a good time. And your confidence is going to attract suitors to you. In existing relationships, this is just saying bring the fun back. Just have some fun this year with your partner. Take a trip. Do fun stuff. Surprise your partner. Um, and bring back the flirt into the relationship. It's really going to benefit it, um, your relationship greatly. For health and well-being, we have organic foods. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic products. So for some of you, you're reviewing your eating habits, drinking habits, um, and you're trying your best to clean it, uh, clean that side of your health. So uh, maybe you're looking at your diet, maybe you're going to organic foods, maybe you're becoming a vegetarian or a vegan, uh, maybe you're quitting drinking or smoking or any other bad habits um, but this is a really strong focus for you this year on eating healthy and being healthy uh, coming up for you with this card and your overall advice is innocence and um, I'm not sure I think Aries got this as well dear God and angels thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. And this is just saying, focus on what truly matters. If you're dealing with, you know, troubling people or situations, this is just saying go back to basics. Go back to who you are and what you're trying to do. Is that situation really in line with what you're trying to accomplish or is it a distraction or a waste of your time? Is that someone who really has your best interest at heart, who is a genuine friend to you, uh, or are they just taking away your energy? This is also saying be true to who you are. I feel like a lot of you are defining or redefining uh, who you are in 2017 for one reason or another. And this is saying, again, just be true to who you are. Believe in your dreams with the innocence of a child. Believe in your dreams. Shoot for the stars. Just go for it. This is also saying pursue peace, harmony, innocence, genuine energy, grounded energy, uh, healthy energy uh, in your life in 2017. And you'll be surprised at you know the massive difference that that makes uh, in where you are and where you're going. 
So overall, it looks like a fantastic year. Let me know. Okay, watch the reading now. Come back to it as the months go by and let me know um, how things make sense to you. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. I hope you have a fantastic year ahead. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.